hello good afternoon good evening good morning i'm talking to candidates and the form 3 students i know writing is a skill that you need just to enhance every day so i'm happy today yesterday i talked about um, uh, writing a personal diary and somebody said they really benefited so i'm happy for that now if you have a child who is idle consider making them watch these videos because they'll help them learn a lot and when they come back to you they'll have performed better in writing it can be even the jss students it can be the form 4 form 3 students uh, grade 8 and those who are going to grade 9 because the same same content is applies to them yeah so minutes is my focus today minutes are taught in um, new integrated english book 3 and when you come to the JSS sections, they are going to be taught in grade 9. Now when you look at minutes, what are they? It is a record of what was agreed rather than what was said and uh, how that conclusion came about. Now minutes help a lot when we have a group yeah, to follow up on issues that were discussed and take up the appropriate action. Now what do minutes indicate or what should we have? When we are marking format, we consider that it must have a title or heading. Now the title must have uh, the word minutes of, then the group of uh, whichever group is meeting. If it is the young, um, a young uh, farmers association or whichever, it must be there. If it is scouts and all that. So the group of uh, the, the the group that is meeting, then the venue, the minutes of YCS, whichever school it is, Mangaza YCS group. At maybe it's a, a social hall, Garissa social hall. When? So give us the date, twentieth of October, twenty twenty two. At or from what time so from maybe 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. yeah so we need a, um, the word minutes off we need the group that is meeting we need the venue we need the date and we need the time when the meeting is starting and possibly ending yeah if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing to it and learn much more more and every day you can request for whatever you wish from me now uh, the second thing that you need is a record of attendance record of attendance has three aspects or rather four the first being those who came physically to the meeting that is members present yeah members present so you have to list the members who are present most of the times it is indicated in the question maybe the, they said there's seven members attended so you have to be at par with that if there are seven then write there are seven members uh, one up to seven most times start with the leaders and indicate if it is uh, isaac shah maybe this is the chairperson followed of course by the vice chair and uh, the rest come later if one of the leaders is not there, never put them in the members present. Maybe they have told you that the secretary is not in. Of course, before the meeting starts, they will have to appoint a secretary. <coughs> Sorry for that. Now, the next uh, part under members, members, uh, um, the, the record of attendance is the members absent with apology. Now, in most questions, they normally say apologies. Do not write apologies. It is just that word to represent members who are absent with apology. And of course, in the question, they'll tell you three members who are absent. They'll specify if they think the treasurer was not there, so you should indicate. Uh, yeah, so you list one, two, three, four, and then you indicate the members. It must rhyme with the question, of course. Go back to the question and see. Then, under the record of attendance, the third article is members absent without apology and they'll tell you in the question that uh, one member was absent they won't indicate whether this person asked for apology or informed the chair or something like that so if it's one person consider the person should be one then the last part uh, sometimes in some cases it is the in attendance in attendance it's written as one word 
So in attendance means uh, visitors that came to the meeting that are not part of the club, and even the patrons are in attendance. If it is within a school setting, the principal or head teacher is also in attendance. Yeah, even if you have a music club and I'm your matron or patron, then I'm in attendance because I'm not student, uh, part of the students. Yeah, if it's an external um, a group and then an MP comes, then that is in attendance. Right, so I hope you're clear on the two aspects. When you are marking format, we have marked to you for the title. We've gone to the record of attendance and we must see all those. Then now we will be looking at... Uh, how you've numbered your minutes huh? because now after all that of course there is a part that i'm going to mention but then be very careful about how you number your minutes because the minutes must have uh, m i n maybe dot one stroke zero two stroke 24 that means it is the first um first minute of uh, maybe a meeting is being held in february 2024 yeah but before we go to the, uh, that aspect, let's first uh, begin with the... Uh, in the question, they normally say preliminaries, but preliminary. Preliminary means, how did the meeting start? Most meetings, of course, there is prayer. Other meetings, it might be uh, appointing a secretary who is not in and then welcoming members. So nobody should tell you that it's forcefully prayer because, of course, we have pagans who meet at some point. So it is not that it is equal to prayer, but in most meetings, of course, it's prayer, and then the chairperson welcomes the members, or welcomes then one person prays. And then there may be, the chair might decide to appoint somebody to represent those who are not there, especially if there is secretary, because we cannot have a meeting without a secretary. Yeah. Now, the next aspect that I should see in your minutes is confirmation a reading and confirmation of the previous minutes. Yeah, so I should see that reading and confirmation of the previous minutes or the minutes of the previous meeting. You should indicate that very clearly. Now, under that, I want to see the contents must carry um, the aspect that minutes were read. Yeah, they were read by who? Who read the minutes in a meeting? You must know. <laughs> then after they were read, the minutes were read by the secretary. And then we must have one person proposing, right? A member proposing that this is a true record, yeah, of what was discussed previously. Then after, um, after that proposal, another member, the second member should have to, to confirm, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so it must confirm. So, um, uh, of course, the, we normally expect you to say a member, uh, after the secretary read the minutes, one member confirmed or proposed that it was a true record of the minutes. Another member proposed that the minutes were true, yeah, or confirmed, right? Yeah, so once we finish the con reading and confirmation of the previous minutes, of course we have matters arising. What do we mean by matters arising? Yeah? Yeah, so when we talk about matters arising, this might be issues that were discussed previously, but they were not conclusively done. So what do you say? You say, uh, possibly you say that um, after the reading, there were matters that arose. And remember, there are matters that arose in the previous minute. So if it is, uh, we are holding a meeting in October, maybe the previous meeting was in April. So we expect that the number will be minute uh, five. Because you know, in all minutes, minute one, minute two, minute three, they are known what they are. But this one, now we are coming to matters arising, so it might be uh, minute five minute six uh, of the previous so maybe minute minute uh, four stroke four of 20 24 then if this meeting has different agenda don't include any of them it uh, if it has a or b don't include any of them in matters arising bear what was discussed previously and it was not conclusively done maybe it was in matters uh, the minutes 
it was in agenda, it was in um, LOB. Let's say, for example, in the previous discussion, you had tracing code and you never concluded. So here you'll bring it, minute 5, stroke 04, stroke 2024. 20, then you say, dress code. Then you say, a member uh, raised concern on the matter of dress code, which was not conclusively discussed. It was apparent that members see it wise to choose white and white top and um, the black or navy blue, uh, maybe pairs of trousers as the suitable dress code for their meetings. Members um, discussed at length and saw that white would be similar to so many, a copyright of so many other groups and therefore they changed and uh, agreed to have cream instead of white, right? We might have two or three matters arising, write them there. And then now proceed to agenda, right? So agenda or the main minutes, we have so many, and they're in the question. They normally say that the agenda of the meeting was this, or the matters discussed were this. One might be uh, elections of new members. It must be um, end year party. It might be anything else, maybe for agenda. Now begin to bring them out. Now this one be, uh, becomes the first concern in this meeting, the second, so agenda, agenda one, two, three. So talk about them. And when you're talking about agenda, many students have failed to build content. Why? Because they never uh, cover the three aspects. You must have someone coming up, commenting, suggesting, wishing for this to happen. Then, under the aspect of people discussed at length, don't just summarize. You know we want language marks. How will you use idioms? How will you use maybe a phrase of verbs if you are just cutting it short? So you must have uh, to bring up maybe say members contemplated on uh, uh, the best leaders they would have. And uh, considering that it was a red flag, right? A red flag to have leaders that were always absent from the meeting. They saw it wise to propose qualities of leaders. Um, one of the qualities was people will always be there, people are um, transparent, and maybe uh, with a lot of integrity, um, the popular candidates. And then now, bring out uh, the, uh, the, the discussion that two people uh, were supposed to vie for the post of chair, and they came up, names were suggested, they walked out, and then elections were conducted in secret ballot and then leaders were appointed so and so so and so uh, up to that so make it comprehensive don't make it thin because where do you get the language marks now go on with every agenda like that then the next thing should be any other business we call it AOB under any other business it should never be matters arising it should not be agenda it should not be um, uh, any other thing that has already been discussed. So uh, maybe somebody is just seeing the sense of uh, the kind of language people should use, arrival in the meeting, maybe they wish to have uh, refreshments within the meeting, such things, right? Yeah, we have these things we wish for or we have observed. So those should come here. A member observed that many people are, being, are coming to the meeting late and therefore they suggested a fine should be implemented. Nothing will be discussed here because you're just making suggestion. The chairperson uh, saw um, that many members were missing from the meeting and no penalty was being conducted and posed that in future there might be need for um, penalty. Right. So after that, then go to adjournment. Adjournment means we are coming to the end of the meeting. Yeah. So we should have closing remarks. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to show you an example of uh, minutes, so pay attention and look at this.
Yeah, so you saw that part of uh, um, the title, members present, members absent without apology. We have members absent without apology in attendance. Preliminary, of course, you can see prayer was there, meeting uh, put to order, then uh, appreciation and the introduction of the guest. Reading and confirmation of the previous minutes comes. There's minute two, minute three matters arising. Then we have a minute four should we have an agenda. And if we have several, then we have to handle all of them. Details must be given. You can see the example there. Under minute four, community uh, members suggested need for community project that would link the club to the members of the community. Another felt it should tap money. The members discussed at length and agreed that they should proceed with the community project. They were in consent that the preceding week, the preceding week, on Saturday, they should clean Keumbu market, which had heaps of litter. Two members were put in charge of the project. Mr. Mtua promised to provide litter bins and other necessary equipment to cater for the project. The second, raising money, you can actually see the details and you will realize that the choice of words was very mature. Membership. Then we proceed. Any other business coming there? You can see those were items that were never anywhere in the minutes. Yeah. Then we are proceeding to... Adjournment, you can see what was shown there when the meeting ended, how it ended, the next meeting, and then we have the signing off. That is the confirmation of minutes. It's never signed. Once you sign, no mark. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and in the next discussion, we'll be focusing on.